All right, YouTube, what we're gonna do today. I've had this Jeep for a couple months now, and one thing that's driven me a little bit crazy since I bought it is the Carfax reported an accident on the left side, and the left rear tire was like super bald. I was wondering why that tire was more bald than the rest of the tires. And since it had an accident on the left side, that wheel's on the left side, I was like, is the alignment able to be adjusted on this thing? So I had the seller take it and get an alignment done on it before I bought it. So the alignment was able to be fixed. There was not a problem with it. And uh, that was all good. But the problem was when you drive straight down the road, the steering wheel's off center. And that drives me freaking bananas. And I was like, well, this thing just got an alignment done. So I'm not going to pay for it to have another alignment. So I kind of dealt with it for a couple of months. But then I was underneath the Jeep taking a look at the suspension setup. And these Jeeps... You can actually adjust the center of that steering wheel without affecting the toe in, toe out. So that's pretty convenient because that means I can straighten out my steering wheel without having to pay for an alignment. So the way this is done is you have what's called a drag link right here. This directly connects to the pitman arm on your steering box and that only adjusts the right wheel, like the relationship of the right wheel to the steering wheel. And then there's another bar on the bottom that controls the toe in, to, toe in and toe out between the two wheels, right? So as long as you just adjust this little area right here, you're not going to affect the alignment. You're just gonna affect the relationship of the wheel to the steering wheel. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and loosen these two bolts right here. That's a 15 millimeter wrench. I'm gonna take a deep wall socket, loosen those up. I'm gonna go take the Jeep for a drive and adjust that thing until my steering wheel's straight and then tighten it back up and we'll be done. So when I'm in the car, the steering wheel, when I'm driving straight, I just kind of rolled up in front of my house and let it come to a stop while holding the steering wheel, while maintaining a straight course and holding the steering wheel where I needed to do that to maintain that straight course. And you can see it's off to the left a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is get underneath, make a couple of turns on drag link and see if I can straighten out this wheel just sitting still, then drive it a little bit more and verify that it is straight. So to make this adjustment, I'm just going to grab my drag link and turn it. Now you can actually see inside the vehicle that has gone the opposite direction from where I want it to go. So I'm gonna turn it back counterclockwise if viewing from the left wheel, the left side of the vehicle. So now I've actually gone back too much the other way. So I'm gonna turn it clockwise a few turns. So after messing around with it for a bit, I think I've got it pretty straight. I'm just going to drive a little bit and uh, make sure that that is actually straight because you're not really going to know until you drive it around a little bit. If you're going to drive it too far, make sure you tighten your drag link back up. You don't want that turning around and flopping around while you're driving. I'm just going to be going like 5, 10 miles an hour right here in my neighborhood. So I don't think it's a big deal. But definitely if you're going to be going more than you know, 5, 10 miles an hour, tighten that thing back up. But that's basically it. So when viewed from the left side of the vehicle, the driver's side, looking this direction at that drag link, if you turn it counterclockwise, it will turn the wheel to the right. Clockwise will turn the wheel to the left. So that's basically it. Just uh, keep adjusting it until your steering wheel is straight. Make sure you tighten your drag link bolts back up, those 15 millimeter bolts before driving the vehicle. And uh, thank you very much for watching YouTube. I hope this video helps you out. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as well. Share this with your friends if you think this helped you out. Thank you very much.